How did the ticket get from Greg yeah. to Edwin Castro? It's really Unclear, good but the to California have my mic. Up to say, my mic has been gone committed, since years. That's none of their business. They just know oh, Castro's the guy reason. who handed in the ticket. Oh my so God. he's the winner. So sign your ticket. Is and that keep it Titan safe. Speaker they Man? Make your first big decision. Yay. Number 10. What? Pick your poison. Lump sum if you or hear annuity. Background music, that's you have just to choose between getting compliment. your money all at once or getting regular okay. payments over Back 30 years. The that's a tougher this choice than it sounds like. Man. Because either He's way, you're not going to get the whole value of the jackpot. One. Buckle up. Um, Say you, you want a $10 million to jackpot. Do you take the lump sum payment or the annuity. If you, if you take all your money now, they don't give you $10 million. Nothing the lump sum payout is usually them. just 61% okay. of the jackpot. That's right. If you want it now, they're keeping 39% right off the top. A $10 million okay. jackpot oh, turns into a $6.1 million this. jackpot. So maybe you settle for annuity payments over 30 years. That way, you get every dollar of the jackpot. But most of it will come 10, 20, or 30 so years from now. Inflation is going to mean Delaware, that that money will okay. be worth a lot less okay. when you get it than it is today. Consider this. Inflation has made the dollar so worth almost gone. exactly I'm half of what it was 30 okay. years ago. So you should expect a similar episode. hit to the purchasing power of a payment okay. you get 30 years in the future. The Lottery Commission will invest okay. the money for you, we're good, we're but they'll play it safe. Okay. No. They don't want to lose your money, Back but it won't grow as fast as inflation. Finish. You can almost My certainly God. do better by investing okay. it conservatively um, yourself. AFK. And you're not done losing money Back. yet. That was Number cool. nine, pay taxes on your winnings. That's um, right. Even though the money's coming straight from the government, you get to give some of it these back right away as work. taxes. You'll have to pay For federal, reason, state, and work. local taxes on that big pile of income. The lottery holds back just under 29% to cover that if you're a U.S. God. citizen. But might owe even more depending on where I you have live. This guy. So if you won that $10 million jackpot what and took the lump sum, it already got knocked down to no, 6.1 million. Next, Uncle Sam and friends what take their this? share. And you've got, let's see, no, a little paid? under four and a half million dollars no, left. Is the monster, That's right. Like the best Less than game, half of the jackpot that you actually what, get to keep. What, what, and don't even think this? about skipping out on those taxes. The government knows exactly how much money they gave you. But at least now, you get to spend your 10, I mean 6, okay. yep. I mean 4 million dollars. And once and you start spending your money, also, your life is probably never going to be toilet. that simple again. Which brings us to our next unofficial rule. Number not 8. Hire an accountant and an attorney. Me, um, it's time to hire some people to yeah. help you out. Guess what? This. You can afford it now. Don't be stingy now. here. Unless your big this. dream for winning the lotto was to He's spend kind of all your way time bigger doing paperwork. Than that. You He's need help bigger. managing your money. Okay, Want to hear a scary statistic? Bigger. One this in three lotto bigger. jackpot winners kind of go dumb. bankrupt. Bank. You want an accountant because every yeah, big thing guy, you spend money on yeah. is going to make yeah. your taxes more this complicated. And you need an attorney because you're going yeah, to have legal problems. This, Sorry. This is in fact, you should really find a lawyer before you even collect your jackpot. But once you collect, you need to get ready to get sued. Now we when have people this. hear this that you hit the jackpot, a lot of them tomorrow. are going to try to get something out of you. And you want a lawyer from a oh, big national that? firm, not someone who's worked with your family or friends. Uh, because yeah, it might be your family be or friends who sue you. This Take Bud Post. He won the Pennsylvania uh, Lotto in 1988. Then his the girlfriend, who was also his landlady, tomorrow. sued him, abandoned, saying Post had agreed to split the jackpot with her. The judge sided against Post, tomorrow. and he had to give up this a third of his six tomorrow. million dollar prize. That, Our next yeah, rule is one you might not be. think of, but so it's really non-negotiable. So Number seven, you have to claim your prize in the state you played in. Does this, this one sound obvious? Well, idea. different states have different rules about collecting your prize. After you bought your winning ticket, you don't get to shop uh, around for the state with the uh, best rules. This is what when you hear about this next rule, oh my God. you'll understand why you want to. Number so six, the state is gets to this. share your um, identity. Obviously, you got to tell the, the lottery commission who you are so they can give you the money. Yeah, this the lottery then turns around guy. and tells the public your yeah. name this and how much you want. Some states even publish where oh the winner God. lives. It Black makes sense games. that the states want to do this. It's great publicity for the lottery. It proves they're actually paying the lottery and not just keeping everyone's money or rigging it for the commissioner okay, and all their friends.